These are the A-Liter Outdoor Water Shoes, an amphibious athletic water shoe designed to fit the gap in between your typical water sock and running shoe. Now, I typically don't review non-fishing gear, but when A-Liter contacted me and asked me to review, I said, well, you know, don't send me one pair, send me four pairs, because I really want to get a chance for my entire family to put these through the test for the entire summer. And A-Liter definitely came through and did just that. They sent me a pair, they sent my wife a pair, they sent my daughter a pair, and they sent my son a pair. Four people all summer, you know, putting these pretty much through the test. Now, not all of us ended up liking these shoes, but most of us did. You know, I wanted to give you guys the full experience, full review before I talked about these. And uh, before I get to that, let's cover the specs from the top down. The A-Liter water shoes are designed to be quick drying, breathable, and form fitting. And form fitting they are. They're really just like a mesh sock connected to a thick rubber outsole. All models have a thick, breathable upper mesh that's very light, breathes easy, and dries very fast, and seems to be very durable. The entire shoe seems to be very durable. Between my daughter, myself, my wife, and my son, there are no instances of any of the seam splitting, any of the mesh deteriorating prematurely. All models appear to have a traditionally laceless elastic lace system. The adults have a, an elastic band connected with a stop here, very simple. While the children's models have three elastic bands at the top that really lead to nowhere, no shoelaces to tie, and no Velcro to mess with. All models are designed with what 8 liter calls their fluid flow sole. Basically that means it's a heavily ported sole that allows water to drain through. When water enters from the top, or if your entire foot is submerged, when you get out, as you walk and as you stride, the flexing of your foot is designed to allow water to escape through this waffle pattern. And one of the biggest product differentiations between a model like this and your typical water shoe, which is like a neoprene booty with a thin rubber sole, is this cushioned rubber sole. Uh, it's really designed to be like a running shoe with a sock mesh on top. Um, these are pretty supportive, uh, a lot more supportive than your typical, you know, $10 water sock that you can find at, you know, a convenience store. Um, they really do feel like Nike running shoes uh, for the most part. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, and you'll notice that high wear areas have an extra kind of rubber bumper at the heel and the forefoot. Each A-liter water shoe comes with a removable sole that allows for quicker drying. And the quality of the sole and the quality of the shoe itself is actually pretty good. The fit and finish all around is uh, a lot more than I would expect for a $27 to $37 shoe. That's a price range for these shoes, at least on Amazon. And for those wondering, while the A-liter group appears to be based out of Riverside, California, all models, children's and adults alike, are made in China. So after three months with the A-Liter water shoes, most of my family's really come to like the shoes, and it's hard not to like them. They've proven to be pretty durable, they're very lightweight, in warm summer months they're a great option to throw on if you're doing some light walking or you know going on the kayak or raft or boat. Now you're probably wondering what's not to like, well we do have a couple things to look out for and they're not necessarily knocks against the product, but something to look out for if you're going into these shoes assuming that they're regular shoes. For one, the sole on every shoe seems to be high centered. Uh, the mass of the entire sole seems to be focused on the middle, so if you are expecting to run in these shoes, don't. They don't outright replace your running shoes. If you run fast or if you stride really hard, you'll notice that your foot really has a tendency to roll side to side because of the design of the sole. Not really sure why it's designed to be centered uh, so high. So if your stride involves a heavy pronation, so you know if you over pronate a lot or you under pronate a lot, just watch out. You don't want to roll your ankle. Now another thing to be aware of is this seam here. Now while my family members for the most part had no problems with these shoes, they found them pretty comfortable, I looked into all the negative Amazon reviews just to get a sense of what people were complaining about, if there was anything to complain about, and it really boiled down to this seam here. Where the fabric meets from the upper to the toe area here, on the underside, although it's pretty smooth to the touch, I mean, I really can't feel the difference. A lot of people complain that, you know, that little bump, that little connection between the two uh, material uppers and bottoms rubbed their foot raw. So if you're wearing these barefoot, which 99% of you probably would because these are water shoes, just be aware if you have really sensitive skin that this seam could agitate your skin over prolonged periods of use. 
Another thing to be aware of if you're choosing A-liters for your outdoor athletic water shoes is that you really can't wear these to the beach because of the fluid flow waffle designed uh, bottom sole and the mesh upper sand and little tiny pieces of gravel will get into your shoes no problem. They'll actually cake into the waffle design and uh, they'll definitely slip into the mesh uppers. In fact, that's something to be aware of. Because of A-liters fluid flow bottom soles, the soles tend to pick up a lot of rocks, you know, little weeds, uh, little clumps of dirt. So if you do have hardwood floors or floors you want to protect, be aware that these shoes can pick up little sharp rocks and there's a good chance they can mark up your floors as you're going inside and out. Now you might have noticed that throughout this review, I said that most of my family members enjoy these shoes, and that's true. My wife was the one holdout. She's pretty particular when it comes to outdoor wear, and uh, she normally wears you know, little slippers or sandals. And I asked her to wear these water shoes for about an hour around the house just to tell me what she thought. And she took them off at, after about 10 minutes. She said, number one, uh, her feet got really clammy, and that is true. Although they're designed to be breathable, you really do need activity to you know, allow them to perform. And then two, her feet are pretty wide. Although they're small, they're pretty wide, and uh, these shoes aren't available in widths. So while there's a huge range of uh, sizes from you know kids to adults, uh, you're not gonna find options for widths. But in a leader's defense, I have to say, for as much as my wife didn't care for the shoes, my kids absolutely love them. Uh, you know, this is a great example of how beat up they got. This is three months of a two-year-old or, you know, running all over California pretty much. And, you know, as a parent, there's one thing I did notice. And this will surprise you if you're a parent and you can relate. My kids live in Crocs. And uh, I noticed that, you know, Crocs tend to make their strides pretty clumsy, especially my daughter. She tends to fall a lot in these shoes, although these fit her feet uh, pretty well. They don't seem to fit as well as uh, these A-liter water shoes. They're a lot more form-fitting. Their profile seems to be a lot smaller. I don't have to worry about socks going in them. I don't have to worry about their feet coming out because the heels are pretty much trapped in the back here. And they're just super lightweight. And you know, for $27, I think, uh, maybe, maybe less for the kid sizes. As a parent, they've been a really great option for kids' summer footwear. Those were the A-liter water shoes. Now again, this video was comped. They sent me four pairs, one for each member of my family, to put through the test through the entire summer. And I told them I'd let them know by the end of the summer if I'd buy these if they weren't comped. And you know what? I think I would. For $27 to $37, uh, you know, before I had these shoes, before I had them on my feet, I really had no option between, you know, sandals and my Nike running shoes. If I wanted to go into the water, I'd grab my sandals, but as I'd come out of the water, you know, I'd be reaching for them or they'd be slippery and they wouldn't be as secure and as comfortable as this. And I never wanted to spend, uh, you know, the $100 on some nice pair of Nikes to know that, you know, I was going to trash them on a kayak or on a boat. So, you know, this really does a good job, in my opinion, of fitting the market gap in between those water socks or, you know, cheap flip flops and your high end running shoes not to be trash going in and out of water. And for water shoes, I mean, they actually look pretty decent. There's tons of styles available online. And uh, if you want to check them out, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Now, a leader was nice enough to outfit my family for the entire summer for free. And they're also nice enough to outfit you guys with the promo code in the description and the pinned comment below. Just a little bit of savings in case you guys are interested in buying these shoes too. These were the A-Liter Outdoor Water Shoes, a great idea for anyone going outdoors.